Do you like volunteers? Oh, yeah. Yes! <laughs>
you try to involve yourself in the culture and maybe one of your goals could be that they call you a foreigner like a mix out of a foreigner and a Pinoy which is Filipino in their language so uh, if you have achieved that in the end I think you can be pretty proud of yourself Also ich habe nicht geschrien, ich habe nur Marie gerufen. Es ganz klang ganz aber sehr so. nötig, was auch immer. Ähm, ich dachte nur, scheiße, schon wieder Kakerlake oder Spinne oder was auch immer. Aber nein, was war es immer? Eine Schlange unter meinem Schrank. We had been in Los Angeles to do some groceries and we waited for a jeepney. And suddenly I felt that something is on my leg and the big cockroach sat on my leg. <lacht> I know I woke up the other night and went to the bathroom. It was like 4 a.m. and I was half asleep and then I went to the bathroom and the mouse just went right over my really and I screamed so loud. It was just someone who just kept sleeping. Uh, well, I had the best room, so it means there were like 100 cockroach living with me in the bathroom. And I'm not, it's it's really not a joke, it's really 100 cockroach. It was actually more, we counted them, but then we were too tired of counting, so... And, um, okay, the first time you just, you're screaming and it's horrible, but after a while you get used to it and you just pray. And it's like, you know, it's like uh, when you take off makeup, well, it's like this, you just pray. Uh, cockroaches and geckos, but they're so cute. So, and they eat cockroach, so it's super practical. Uh, jumping spiders, mouses. Oh, yeah. Some of them are really cute, and some of them are not cute because of their sizes. You'll discover by yourself what is the size. But it's pretty big, and like one night they had like, there were like three mouses in my bathroom, and they were like having a chat and making so much noise. <laughs> so, but it's, it's interesting, you get to know how insects live and get closer to them, too close to them. Yeah, different than in Germany. <laughs> For example, you do not have a shower, you have a bucket, but I think you yeah, you get used to it and it's really important and yeah, I would be sad if I had a shower. Ja, meine Liste des Grauens, wer ekelhafte Sachen dann wegmachen muss. Wir hoffen eigentlich, dass da keine mehr dazu kam, aber... Aber bei selber das Glück schafft sie wahrscheinlich nur das Kakerlakeneier in ihren Schrank legen. Ja genau, also Moskitonetze sind definitiv zu empfehlen. Gegen Auch alles. Gegen alles. Ameisen, Spinnen, Kakerlaken, Motten, Mücken. Ich weiß jetzt nicht, wie gut euer Immunsystem ist, aber anscheinend werde ich, bin ich ja dauerkrank. Wenn ihr länger als drei Tage krank seid und so richtig das Gefühl habt, dass ihr so richtig, richtig krank seid, geht lieber ins Krankenhaus. Für Jan war das auch besser, der Dengue hat nämlich Dengue. Yay. Über Malaria macht euch mal keine Sorgen, Malaria gibt es hier oben eigentlich gar nicht. I 
think Selma is the best person to tell you guys because she has a lot of experience with it. It's so nice to be sick, you know, you can stay in bed all the time, you are so weak and <laughs> I don't know, it's really the worst and you, and you don't want to go to the hospital but you have to go at some point, especially when you have dengue or like dengue and typhoid at the same time. That was her. <laughs> um, I don't know if you already saw the list or if it's still coming, but if you see the list with all the diseases we got here, I just want you guys to know. 99% of that was awesome. I think I got one thing or it, well like one thing we both had but like everything else it was like really all her. Yeah. I think she went more to the doctor than any of the other volunteers this year. But you know, it's more fun in the Philippines. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's really you know, you're not alone here. I have Marie, I have the other volunteers and you get over it. You just you just should always try to not be too depressed because of your sickness. Enjoy the time you can relax. When we arrived here, it was so was it warm and um, rainy. It was very humid, typhoon. humid and yeah, yeah, we had typhoons. Oh my god, I couldn't sleep because it was so hot. But then we got into like winter, rainy season. No, yeah, it was always rainy season. We just cold um, season, like starting end of November, December. Yeah, it still rains, but it gets definitely cooler. Like I mean nothing compared to Germany or so like it's still always 20 degrees at least it's like 25, 25. 25 degrees but you don't feel it anymore actually I had days where we were long like really needed to wear jeans and like a sweatshirt 25 degrees it's so cold <laughs> and that's how it looks like when it's typhoon season Then after that cold season, it got so hot. Summer is so hot. You just it starts like end of March, April, around Easter. So. Yeah. Then you then you and you like in your bed. You want to sleep, and then you're just sweating all the time. And then when you when then you take a shower in the morning, yeah. and two minutes after you get out of the shower, you like totally sweaty again. <laughs> yeah. You take like we took average like three showers a day it's just it's so disgusting <laughs> i mean like i sometimes slept with like we have a back door and i slept with the back door open and that's like the only way i can sleep at night because then it gets cooler in your room but it's it's crazy not, not Showering here. You have a bucket, a big bucket full of cold water, and you have a small bucket, and then you can do like this with the bucket. So, yeah, cold water. Or uh, sometimes when you have a shower at uh, 12, then it's probably hot because the sun made it hot, but normally you have cold water. Over the last year, year um, we had throughout this. Summer, and we came with like 12 or 13 volunteers. Like, never all at the same time here. So, this time I'm used to it all the time, and usually we have like two or three more volunteers. At some point, we have like two or seven volunteers living here for like one or two weeks. And it's fun, it's really fun to like, get, really get to meet people from other places in Australia, Sweden, France. So, yeah, it's really cool here. I really like it. I mean, of course, you don't get along with everybody, like, super well. But, I mean, some people are better at cleaning up than others. And sometimes it can get a little bit annoying. But we manage, I think. <laughs> 
we had some really really fun volunteers living together <laughs> it was really cool it was really family family yeah, family yeah. We, we i think we we find our way to fit together and it was nice to come together and to have the evenings together and yeah to have persons who already made experience and could help yeah we had a movie night and we went like down to 10 11 five minutes from here and we got ice cream and really nice. Uh, sometimes we go to Las Banas to just go to restaurants maybe. I mean, it's not that expensive, so you can do like once, once every few weeks. Um, well, you can actually do a lot of things with the children. It's kind of up to you so like the staff will let you free to do a lot of projects games like you can do whatever but you should like maybe come up with some ideas so you're not like you don't come here and you're like okay what do I do now because yeah but like and the the kids are really great they're like they're um, if you do like a game or if you want to do something with them, they're really, they're really willing to do it. <laughs> uh, yeah, English is not my first language, as you can maybe <laughs> notice. <laughs> well, tutoring, I hate it. Yeah, you have to uh, prepare your work before for if you want to do tutoring, and it's I don't know. I'm not patient enough for this, but maybe you are. <laughs> no, but it's and it's like one to one and if you really want to train to work you should like do it like several times a week like for one kid so it's actually pretty heavy and sometimes you just don't have time to do it or or the kids oh yeah also one thing is when you want to do tutoring it's like sometimes you're going to search for the kids you want to tutor and then it's going to be like cleaning or doing laundry or you know it's like maybe it's not going to be available at the time you want so you should deal with that I would prepare some I would look up for some games or some things you can do with the children like some groups games or activities for them because if you had like if you never worked with children it's pretty hard to like yeah come up with ideas so yeah I would like prepare stuff before I come here if I were you and just yeah, be prepared that it's really different. <laughs> and if you're a city person, this is not a city. It's a village, Masapang. And uh, yeah, at first it's, well, for me it was pretty hard to be here because I miss it. I missed town a lot, but after a while you get used to it. And Hi, I'm Jan. I've been volunteering in Kessel for one year and it's been a very very great experience. It's just to be in the Philippines is very very exciting because this is a country like no other country in the world. It's very weird sometimes but I think I've grown to I wouldn't say love it but I like it very much. There are new there are always new things that you can discover no matter how long you've already been here. And yeah it's it's just great. You like of course, not everything is great. Never is, not in life. But and you, you'll have to deal with some hardships. But you'll get used to it. We all do. It's great. You will love it, especially the kids. Hi. Hello. Bangit. <laughs> First of all, welcome to Bangit to Luyan. And Welcome <laughs> to the family. I wish you happy enjoy. <laughs> enjoy and bye to Luya. Hi. Welcome to Bahay Tuluya Laguna. Uh, my name is Cherry. I hope you are staying here long. And I hope you are happy. And I hope you are... I get, 
I hope I you good a uh, sister to Bahay Tuloy and Laguna. And I hope you are give happiness and everything you do. That's all. I hope you happy to stay here. I wish you came here safety. Lagot ka sa amin. Mahal na mahal ka namin. I love you very much. Bye bye. Bye bye. Hello, welcome to Bye Italian in Advance. Um, I hope you like it here and feel at home. We're looking forward on meeting you. Um, I hope we can learn something from you and you can learn something from us too. Yeah. Thanks. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs>